I'm going to demonstrate a basic function of APS op center scheduling. It's basic, but it's very important, and that is sequencing forwards by due date. Now, the concept here is we'll take a look at the due date column. This is all the due dates that I have in this particular iteration of the model. Um, I'm in the year 2000 because it's demo mode, but as I scroll down, you'll see that I got a good mix of promise dates. Okay, now this due date can be your customer promise date. It can be the date you want the order to be finished. It can be pretty much any date that you want to specify. But the concept here is OpCenter is going to sequence these jobs by the earliest start date first and gradually move up to the end with the goal of making everything 100% on time or at least have minimizing minimize the number of late jobs that you have. So we'll go ahead and press the buttons and forward schedule by due date. I've turned animation on just so you can see how it's building up the schedule. In a normal schedule, you wouldn't put animation on because it just basically slows things down. But for demo, it's, it's nice to see. We'll let it finish up here. And then we'll go check the results and see if it actually did sequence forwards by due date. So we'll take a look at the first. And if we mouse over any job, we have a little tip display. If you look at the last column, the last field there, due date of 927. We'll move to the next one. 1018. We'll go to one of these. 1106. We have another 1106, another 1106, and then we start moving again, 11.8, 11.10, and I'll keep moving down, go a little further, 11.14, we go all the way to the end, and we'll see that we've got something in around uh, 12.19. So pre, uh, op, op Center's done its job. It has sequenced all of these operations by that due date in an attempt to minimize anything that's going to be late, and in fact, we are actually 100% on time. So basic concept of sequencing, but it's very important and a lot of people use forward scheduling by due date.